awesome. Our guys are awesome. Thank you so much again. We, we can't thank you enough if all of us stood up and thanked you for today. We have a granddaughter that, j that joined the Air Force. She just got out of basic, and we are so proud of her. Um, just ongoing, isn't it? Uh, whatever you're doing this Memorial Day, be sure you have fun and stay safe. But also, while you are enjoying the day all day, remember those moments to remember what this day is about. Now on to news. Check your newsletters, your coffee announcements, and your TWR times for any changes, additions. And just a heads up, I will be gone for a couple weeks in July. I'm on vacation. Whether I'm here or gone, I'm still on vacation. So um, I will need your August news by the 9th of July. So if you have something you want in the August newsletter, please get it to me by July 9th. And make a note of that. I will try to repeat that as much as I can. But um, it's very important that we get all the things you want in that newsletter out. And if there is something at the last minute that you need to get in, um, you can contact uh, Joanne or John if they're here. I know we're all on vacation different times, so, uh, but that would be only an emergency. Uh, the meditation group will be tomorrow. Those things are just ongoing. W Wednesday, there's comprehensive home care health program in the community room, and that is going to be about addiction. Now, there's a lot of different things that go into addictions, so if you are interested at all, if you have somebody that you would like to have to bring along, that's fine. But um, those nurses kn do know what, what it's all about, and they will cover and answer any questions privately if you wish. Thursday, uh, there's a community bunco night uh, in the clubhouse at 6 p.m. It's $5, and I understand that goes to prizes. So um, it's a fun night, so come on up and do that. Um, I'm... Um, I'm going to double check on that because I know they're doing it on Monday nights too, but this time it's a Thursday night. Um, please remember to return your chairs and everything back to where you found it. Did you notice the floor? Isn't it pretty? Um, we had a third hand helping our guys this time, and um, that was our um, one of our coffee uh, people. Um, I better not say anymore, but he did have a hand in it. so. Um, we thank him very much. Remember, we recycle, and again, on Wednesday, we have a movie night and an ice cream night. That's going to be from 5.30 to 6.15, and the movie will start at 6.30. So come up and get your ice cream, get all settled, and I can't tell you what the movie is because our community manager chooses it. He chooses it when he wants to choose it, and he doesn't tell me what it is, so <laughs> it will be a surprise. It will be a good one, I promise you, but it will be a surprise, and he likes to do that. So if there are any other questions, just let me know. Have a wonderful day. Um, enjoy everybody that good is morning, around Good morning, everybody. Uh, Jerry Doing with Trips and Travel. Just a couple of things on the list. The Christmas dinner rail trip, we've added a few more seats, so we've got the big bus. We will take 56 of you. About two-thirds have already paid for this, and remember, your name on the list doesn't guarantee a reservation. Your check in the treasurer's hand, that guarantees your reservation. Um, the Kennedy Space Center is also starting to fill up pretty good. $70, that's not until January, but um, I'm announcing it now because it is filling up. The other ones are kind of eh, eh. Anyway, a uh, reminder that the uh, Lake Placid, that little bus will be going out, I think it's June 22nd. Uh, let's see. I really don't have that much right now, but I just want to let you know about the Christmas rail trip. Have a nice day today. Thank you. A lot of people here this morning, so I have a quick reminder about the breakfast that's coming up. We're having uh, <clears throat> we're having Danish uh, and uh, smoked sausage this time, and we're looking forward to a good turnout. We sold 83 tickets at the breakfast uh, last time, and we still have a lot of tickets left, so please plan on coming out and having a good breakfast. We'll look forward to it. And there Thanks. are only $4. He never tells you that part. $4, and you go home stuffed. 
Speaking of stuffed, we're going to talk just a little, I'm sorry, we're going to talk a little bit here about the uh, first Friday food drive. It's not this week, it's next week, June the 6th, and I'll be up here next week telling you about it in more detail. But you start setting aside some of your non-perishable stuff that's been in your cupboard for a little bit, and you think, why the heck did I buy that? But if it's good food, and it's not expired, and it's non-perishable, we'll be collecting it starting at 9 a.m. on Friday, the 6th of June. All of the stuff that we collect, if you put it in a sack at the bottom of your driveway, um, we'll collect it between 9 and oh, about 11, 11.30 or so, and it'll all go to the Parkway Food Bank. Um, we're going to do this the first Friday in June, the second Friday in July, because it's the 4th of July, August and September. Okay, next. Diane Powell, is she here? Diane. Come on, before we start playing the, the, the raunchy music for you. <laughs> you re remember the last couple of weeks, the TWR Times has been running our summer contest, Where in the World is Riley Case? Riley has been found. Yay! A couple of people, wait, how many people? Okay, um, uh, the, Riley the dog was hiding in Diane's side yard, and she took such good care of him for those two weeks. So I'm turning this over now to Mitzi. She is going to put the names of all the people who correctly located this pup, put them in a bag, and we're going to be drawing randomly. First prize is $20 cash. Second prize is two breakfast tickets and everybody else gets some scratch off a lottery. Okay, take it away. Okay. Thank you, everybody. We had 11 people responded, and I thank you. I hope he doesn't run away again, but if he does, I hope there's more people looking for him, because I was really missing him. Okay, Diane, please pull the first little name. For $20. For $20. Karen. Bergren, is that how you say her name? Is she here? That's okay. She will get it. We will take it to her house. Okay, second prize. Here we go. We have to pay her to do this. You know that. Diane's not cheap either. Uh, the second prize goes to Lois Williams, and I know she's here. Yay, Lois. Now, all the rest, we're going to call the names of everybody that responded. So I'm not putting correctly, pardon me. I'm not going to put this, uh, their names on here. But if you're here, please come up and get, get your little token. OK, the first name is Bob and Beverly Rumsberg. Are they here? Yes. All right. Come on down. Okay, the next name, that's the Rumsberg, is Barb Cogley. Lois. Oh, would you please? That's Karen's. No, that goes to Lois. Okay. Barb Cogley. Stand up here a minute so we can get a good picture of you. Go ahead, Bob. Turn up. Uh, Barb, turn around. To, okay, there we go. Okay, now we have Bob Dietz. Yep, I know Bob Dietz is here. He's going to be rolling up here in a minute. And then the next one is Linda and Howie Palmer. Are they here? Up, oh, yep, I see her. Linda. We have Joan Dirth. 
but I know she's not here. Oh, yeah. Sandy Radowick, and I know she's here. I should. Why, why the heck did I do that? <laughs> Donna Edwards. Is she here? Yeah. Okay. What's her next name? Annette DeMary. And Sally Mentry, and Sally's not here. So we'll take her some. This is for Sally. She's my neighbor. Thank you. You're welcome. I want to thank everybody that participated. There were clues on the picture trail, and some of the people actually followed the clues. So I'm hoping he won't run away again, but you never know. If he does, there's going to be clues on picture trail, probably more clues. So thank you. Give everybody a hand that sent their entries in. Thank you very much. And thank you, Diane and Shirley. Thank you, Amelia. Thanks. I was going to put in a plug for the uh, national anthem that we played. Did you all hear my daughter in that band? That was the UW Lacrosse Band. Whoop. Dave would like to uh, let you know that the breakfast is June 21st, and it's very good breakfast. We've come, and then you never need lunch after that for a while. Uh, special events. Lois is in the back today by the Trips and Travel. And uh, season tickets are $70 and $80 if you don't live here. Otherwise, it's 10 and $12 for nine shows. And you also have a showcase for two days of at least 40 entertainers. It's very good to see. Uh, we have the welcome table. Are you by yourself today? Hello. Well, actually, my husband felt sorry for me because I looked so lonely, so he sat with me. Um, but um, two more houses. <laughs> but two more houses sold last week, so we're up to 52 houses. Uh, so that's a that's a good sign. Um, and uh, uh, we've got more people coming in, and we're visiting people every week. Thank you. And then uh, I think Janet mentioned Tech Group is going to meet in the craft room right after coffee, so don't run away. Uh, we have the last night of bingo tonight. This is your last chance to win the big bucks. So enjoy the holiday today, what's left of it, which is quite a bit, and have a good week. Bingo, I mentioned, is tonight's the last night. 6.15, be here so you can have your stuff all bought. Starts at 6.30. <laughs>